Now, let's talk about the brand new Apple Watch Series 9. Should you go ahead and buy it? Here are five things or five reasons why I believe that you should go ahead and upgrade in case you have an older Apple Watch. It also depends on which one you currently have because it may be a bigger upgrade for, for example, the user with the Series 4 or 5 compared to Series 8 users. But still, I'm going to talk about five great things about it. The first one for me is the new double tap feature. And by that definition, you may think and it may cross your mind that double tap is simply tapping the screen of the device twice with your finger. But double tap simply refers to clicking the index finger with your thumb twice on the hand which uses the Apple Watch. That means that you don't even have to touch the screen of the display and the Apple Watch can recognize it. So it's really good in case you're using the other hand to do something else. It's really a nice feature and I absolutely like it. It would be one of the biggest reasons for me to actually switch and consider buying the Series 9. The next good thing about it or the next reason to upgrade it would be the new Siri capabilities. And not only Siri is now processed on the actual device on the watch, so it doesn't re rely on any internet connection and connection with the iPhone, so that's really good. You can only like get it to work instantly on your Apple Watch without the need of an iPhone, but you can also access health-related data. So you can ask Siri right on the Apple Watch about your sleep metrics and something specific like that. It's really cool and I really like it. Uh, not as much as the double tap feature, of course, but Siri has been, uh, has been made better, of course, with this device. So if you're an avid Siri user, this, is, this should be a no-brainer for you. Another thing which I absolutely love about my current Apple Watch, and it's getting much like a bigger upgrade on the Series 9, is pinging the iPhone. On my current Apple Watch, I can bring out the, the ping feature, I can tap it, the phone starts ringing, and I can find it easily. If I hold down on the button, it also starts to flash, so that's good as well. But the Series 9 has the precision tracking and finding the iPhone exactly. You know, like you have an AirTag and you can see the exact location of where, where it is. You can see in the meters or in feed how close you are to that device and which direction to go to to get to your AirTag. Now you can do the very same from the uh, Apple Watch to your iPhone. So no more just relying on the sound or on the flashlight. You can also just see the location of your iPhone right away. So I really like this feature a lot. And then the next thing is the peak brightness of the screen which is 2000 nits and it's really nice if you think about it for such a tiny screen and the screen brightness can vary from uh, up to 2000 as I said all the way to one nit for the smallest brightness possible. Now do you actually get to use that a lot? Well if you use your Apple Watch on direct sunlight or outside a lot then you're gonna like this feature. If you use your Apple Watch mostly indoors then there's not really a big problem with the Series 8 or 7 even, so it, it depends if you really benefit from it, but it's a nice add-on and a nice feature. And the last good thing about it, or the last reason for me to upgrade, is the new chip, the new internals, which make everything um, faster. The GPU is supposed to be 30% faster. Personally, I haven't really encountered that my Apple Watch was slow or lagging, because I don't really use it, I don't push it that much. And I use the Series 8 currently, but in case you have an old Apple Watch, like Series 6, 5, whatever, it's going to be a big upgrade in terms of the processing power. So it depends on which device you're switching from, but the uh, internals upgrade is definitely nice because your Apple Watch can now do even more. And of course, the new features are added, so yeah, it probably needs a new chip, for example, to find the iPhone and precise location and stuff. So it's good that it's added, but personally, this is not the biggest reason for me. My Apple Watch works well, but the other cool features are definitely making me want to upgrade to the Series 9. Let me know what's the case for you, if you like the features or not. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the future. Peace out until then.